I'm getting completely sick and tired of this fucking update. <sighs> As most of you know, um, this is like, the, not for GTA. GTA hasn't had an update. I'm talking about Xbox. Xbox has had the whole, you know, screen update thing. Let's see if it works this time. No. I'm trying to go to the home so I can close out of this goddamn game because I want to go play uh, Advanced Warfare because right now GTA and Advanced Warfare are the only games that are fucking working. But I'm getting pissed off because first off, I get the update. What the hell? I get the update. Shut up, Lester. So I get the fucking update for Xbox, which is over a gig in size. You know, and I thought I think it's pretty cool when I get first check it out. Then it won't let me sign in. I get signed in. Then it basically it takes all of my gold privileges away from me. It doesn't allow me to play any game. It doesn't sync any of the data. Of course, you know, with a whole beta set set up and being part of the preview program, we're going to experience this. I'm just getting fr very extremely frustrated with this. <sighs> And I really hope they iron it out because I still can't go to the home screen. Every time you see that lag, I, I am moving the controller. I am doing all sorts of shit. But I have to do the whole snap and then go back to the game in order to play. But I can't go back to the dash. So the only option I probably have is to shut down and restart the fucking Xbox. An error occurred. No shit. <clears throat> what the fuck? <laughs> Such a great way, you know, to uh, start all this shit. <sighs> Come on. And again, I tried it again. Here, I have my connect hooked up, so let's try this. Xbox, go home. I just realized my audio is coming too fast. I don't have the voice delayed shit. Oh well. I'll get it figured out. Maybe I might have fixed it. What the hell? Xbox turned itself off. What the fuck? Go to restart. What the fuck? Go to restart the stream after updating, or not stream, but the recording. Um, because of something that happened, and my fucking Xbox just like fucking quit. It's like, nope, I'm done. Turned off. <laughs> well, I kind of want to do a bit of a walkthrough since I'm here anyway. I started recording just to show you guys something's fucking up. I just, I guess I'll do a little walkthrough of the new fucking, uh, dashboard system. Or the home screen is, you know, it's politically correct. I still call it a dashboard because I'm used to calling, uh, I'm used to calling it a dashboard from Xbox 360. But, um, a lot of you know that not much is really changed in this update. I mean, besides the layout, uh, a lot of things are still the same. Even, uh, actually, I don't know. There are things that are similar, but I don't know if you guys even know about it because I don't know how many of you are in the preview system, or pre preview program. I'm just getting very, very frustrated with my Xbox. <sighs> this is the longest it's taken, but it probably it might have an update. I don't know. Maybe that's why it's fucking up a lot. But there is a plus. Um, everything is running a lot faster and a lot smoother now, though. Um, this is what loads up when you hop in, so I, I think it is kind of cool. Uh, as you know, all of this, all of the shit here was actually moved to the other side, as you can clearly tell. Um, now when you snap an app... Doesn't snap on the right; it snaps on the left. If at least, if I remember correctly, 
All your pins and everything are down at the bottom of the screen. You can press the triggers to scroll up and down like we used to. Uh, this is kind of similar to the old Xbox 360. Uh, kind of, it's more vertical than it is horizontal. Uh, like it was on, well, it was horizontal and vertical, but it, this one's more vertical. Like the original 360, um, not the very original, but, you know, uh, one of the ones we, the, the scrolling one that we had for the longest goddamn time. Uh, not the Windows 8, the one we had before, like the Windows 8 beta, quote unquote thing. So, <clears throat> um, in this whole setup, you know, you can, you got your one guide, your store, and now you just scroll over. As you see, it says store up there. You scroll over, then everything else opens. So you got your games, you got your apps, your movies, your music, you know. You know, the three that I'm never going to fucking use. Um, then you got your, <laughs> then all your games, um, which everything is a cool new layout. I really I really do like it. Uh, then you got your whole community page. This Because you don't have like a friends list app, or a friends app to go to, it doesn't seem. At least I don't think so. Let me check. Uh, this has changed too, as you can tell. Uh, a lot of the thumbnails are actually different now. And yes, I still have this. But uh, let's go to apps. Friends, friends. Shit, I passed it. Yeah, it's if it's still all in alphabetical order, there are no friends anymore. Nope, no friends. But uh, another thing that's interesting, whenever you have something pre-ordered, it stays in your queue now with this new update. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't just, it shows up in games as well. Like, yeah, it shows up in games, but everything you have pre-ordered, uh, it queues up here. It stays in your queue, which is really an interesting feature. So let's back out of that. And yeah, of course, you got your pins and everything. These, uh, you know how you used to have the whole the most recent things across the bottom, that's what exactly what this is. It's just kind of vertical now. And I guess it kind of, it gives you more options. Like, you go to the Game Hub or Game DVR, view your captures and shit for every game. And then I think the, the very bottom one is the disc. I don't know, because <laughs> GTA 5 is the only disc I've actually had in. Because uh, everything else is digital. So... But your whole friends list, you know... Um, Shows your favorites on top, everything else normal. But starting a party and going back and forth between party is extremely quick. See, like you don't have any more loading screen, no loading bar. Um, and then you have a home message. Something they're added, they've added. I don't know if it's you know on original, but they added a text chat to the party. I guess I don't know how that works. The keyboard is broken. <laughs> Mostly the keyboard is completely broken. And uh, I tried getting on Twitch. Let's see if there's anybody streaming worth watching. Just so I can show you guys how the keyboard would work. I'm trying to think of other apps that the keyboard would be there for. And nobody that I'm following is streaming, so let's just hop into just this ran some random person here. Uh, let's do this guy, Advanced Warfare right now, and I'll be back in a moment, hold on. So, actually, uh, I'm cutting out most of this. I don't even know who this is, but, uh, like, if you type, say that, you can't backspace, you can't do anything, you can't do cursor right. The only one that works is caps and space. Oh, I guess you can cursor, but I wouldn't know. <laughs> you can't back out or anything, you can't, um, let's see here, and symbols, but... Oh wow, they actually did show up this time. Uh, some symbols don't show up. Which is so... stupid. Let's close out of Twitch. I don't even know who the fuck that was. So, um... Just a random shout out to whoever that was, I'm sorry. <laughs> um... But I'm gonna cut most of that out, so just what I missed there. Um... Let's see here, nothing really else has changed except for, you know, the main design, the main layout. Um, oh, excuse me. I'm going to open up Advanced Warfare. Um, I've been having issues with all my games because of this update. Ah, oh, shit. See, but, like, everything that moved here, and then you get your settings here. Go back. Go back up, you piece of shit. Doesn't listen half the time. So, you got your settings, you got your, you got a quick... 
turn off console, restart console, connect on, like, you can use, uh, right here is a slider, or well, not a slider, but, you know, a thing where you can change your connect mic on and off for chat. It, it's really handy. I've seen it a lot. I don't need to open up a party every time I'm going to play a game. Um, but I do hear <laughs> game chat, and it seems like I still hear game chat even in a party. But then you have your, you know, your link to all your settings and everything, and uh, I just want to check one thing. It's like, I'm going to say this, Xbox Snap Twitch. <clears throat> Doesn't like listening to me half the time. Xbox, Snap Twitch. Xbox, Snap Twitch! Okay, I don't know if the voice commands for snapping works anymore. That's weird. <laughs> Unless they took out most of the snapping. Hang on, let me... No, let me go here. Uh, let, there, let's Snap Twitch. What the fuck?! Well, they are releasing it in waves, so I mean, it's not too bad. I guess, uh, I guess things still snap on the side, but you have your whole guide menu here. Um, and I, it default goes to friends, but you can also go up here and change who you're signed in as and everything. But, uh, <clears throat> I'm the only one in the party. Your message is... It works really well. I don't know exactly. I really haven't been snapping many things. I know uh, if you snap party, it stays on this side. But I don't even think that's even in the snap menu, in the snap menu anymore. Nope. But um, from what I could tell, everything you snap stays on this side. But uh, if you're in a game... Let me close settings. Let me open up Advanced Warfare again. So, say, you know... Well, usually, let's see here, let's actually go into, no, we're not getting into campaign. Hold up there, there we go. And I, I, I've noticed a delay between, like, when you close the guide and you go back to the game, I noticed a small, a few second delay. It's kind of annoying, but you gotta, you gotta learn to live with it, I guess. <clears throat> um, just kind of get it worked out. Ah, oh, damn it. Double tap. See, you know, I press Y and X, you know, your screenshot and your recording and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if the voice commands still work. I haven't tried it. I've not really had anything worth uh, recording. But, uh... <clears throat> this, I'm just kind of releasing as an update, like, for the new whole... You're, if you're in the preview program... And you want to see how it works first hand. See, that's the lag I'm telling you about. It just, like, the game will freeze up. But, um... <coughs> Sorry about that. Because it... Fr uh, no, I, I just... I figured that people would want to see how it works out. Um, it, it, it works pretty much the same as it did before. Just everything is more vertical up and down than it was, you know, horizontal left and right. But the background, the background image moves before the rest of the page does. And I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but that kind of bugs me. <laughs> Which, if you guys don't know what that is, that is an actual, um... That is Sheer from uh, Evolved. That is the... That's the planet. It's off one of the achievements. So... I just want to give you guys, you know, an update here, just to kind of see what this is, if you guys like it or not. Um, no matter what happens, later on this year it is releasing for the public. But uh, if you're in the preview program and you haven't got it and you don't want it until, like, all the bugs are worked out, um, you don't want to get the, the update before you decide to opt out because it will reset, if you do that, it will reset your whole Xbox to factory settings. You'll have to get absolutely everything again, spend so much time to download your games and get your profiles back on, so it's just kind of a pain in the ass, so <clears throat> I figure I'd make this video, I'm just going to live with it, because I don't want to fucking restart with everything, I'm just going to live with it, and uh, do more updates as, do more videos as the updates come out for this, and uh, <clears throat> it was more of an on-the-fly type thing, but I figured, you know, it worked out, so... <laughs> Um, I have no friends online, so I'm not really talking to anybody. <clears throat> but, um, shortly after this, I will actually be doing a... <clears throat> Sorry, I just feel terrible right now. I'll be doing a full update video about what's going on here in the near future. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this Ace Guard 360. Um, I, 
I want your guys' opinions on the new dashboard. Um, that's like I still what I call, or still like I said what I call it. I want your guys' opinion down in the comments below. Tell me what you think. Do you guys think you're gonna like it? Do you guys think that um, you guys think that you can live without it? <clears throat> Do you guys think that it's a stupid thing that we're doing, or not that we're doing, but Xbox is doing? Um, do you think it'll work? That is the main question. Um, another thing, um, this Xbox accessories, apparently you can remap all of your, your controller buttons. I haven't figured it out. I don't need to remap them. I don't see the point. But, um, that might come useful to a lot of you, so. Again, <clears throat> I want to thank you guys for watching this. Thanks, 60 signing off. Again, everything in the comments, uh, tell me what you think. I'll see you guys in the next video.